the English Riviera, Torquay. For over a hundred years, one of Britain's favorite seaside holiday destinations. Home to some of the country's finest hotels. And this one. Excuse me. I am quite concerned I'm gonna have a heart attack if I run that quick, you know? No, for heaven's sake! Oh, Nelly! Welcome back to the Grosvenor. <laughs> Whistle, go! You're not hopping, are you? I'll disqualify you. Still at the helm, manager Mark. People don't have to go abroad for their holiday. We will bring abroad to them. Long-suffering events manager Christian. I think he measures you up very nicely, to be honest. He belittles me once more. He can shove the hotel up his ass. And unflappable reservations manager Alison. Beam me up, Scotty. No, that's what we're doing. No, we're not. No, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I'm not doing it. Like the rest of Britain, the Grosvenor is fighting the recession. The global credit crunch wasn't my fault. <laughs> I was hoping that doing that, an idea would appear. And, of course, manager Mark's come up with a plan. I'm going to go for the more upmarket guests. Guests with money to spend. All these posh people are going to come through the door expecting the Ritz. What are we going to say? I'm appalled by some of the things I see. One can't see very well. <laughs> We've got the name, the Grosvenor. It sounds posh. You don't pronounce the S. Grosvenor. No. no. The, the silent, silent S. S. Better keep it straight. This is definitely the hardest summer of my life. Putting bums in beds at any price, what it's done is it's given us a huge mountain of debt. I, I have to do everything I can to make sure we've got enough money coming in so that we don't just close. Alison, Christian, Nikki, you know, all the staff have put their trust in me. There is no plan B, you know. Plan A has to succeed. Elaine, right, today, listen, today we are advertising in The Guardian, The Telegraph and The Independent, OK? And they're for our posh guests, they're for our VIPs coming in, right? We've got a separate phone number, like a hotline, right? OK, so when this phone rings, you know that these are posh people phoning up, right? But when you answer this phone, you don't say, my lovely. Hello, my lover and my lovely and all that, you know? Try not to sound too Scottish. I'm a good fun boys. <laughs> what? Grosvenor Hotel. Oh, good afternoon, the Grosvenor Hotel. Perfect. You ever know that works? That See? works. If we know, we know. Excellent. OK, <laughs> that's what we have to do. <laughs> yeah. The summer holidays are underway, and manager Mark has a new strategy to make the most of this busy season. People who are coming now, who are happy, yeah, who were nice people and whatever. Afford to pay any more money. But that isn't they? their fault, is no, it? No, it's not their fault. So we need to find the, the posher people, you know, Guardian readers, people like that, because they've, they've still got money. In recession, most of the time, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, because the rich can afford to take advantage of all the poor people losing all their money. Come, the stuff that goes on in your head is nuts. All these posh people are going to come through the door expecting the Ritz and expecting really posh rooms and posh food. What are they going to say when well, they well, get here? So that's where we're going to have to lift it. <laughs> lift it? No, we've got to lift it up. What, what do you plan? You've obviously got some kind of vision here. Yeah, Why don't no. you just let me in on all of it yes. instead of just saying yeah. a little bit? The, the vision is, if we go and have a look at a five-star hotel, right, OK, we're not going to get there. But, what do you mean? No, but what we can do is if we go and look at a five-star hotel, then we can aim and pinch some of their ideas. Well, we are, I'm willing to give anything a go, but I can see it being so carnage. That's, that's it, that's... I bet you didn't expect this, Ollie. <laughs> go on, pile in, lad. Could be in the name of Squires. It is squires. in the name of Squires. Well, thank you, Squires. <laughs> Ollie and his mates have come to the Grosvenor to celebrate his stag party in style. Get married in a month's time, so stoked about that. 
Have we got a sea view? <laughs> Matt's the best man, and uh, we seem to have ended up here. But the Grosvenor. Oh, 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 oh. The bride. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but who has a bridal suite with two bunk beds in it? A perverted bride. Primarily, we chose Torquay as a destination for comedy value. The idea was to destroy the expectation of anything lavish straight away, so things could only go uphill from there. Doing a shot because you're the best man? Yeah, yeah OK. Awesome. Which is kind of why we chose the Grosvenor. It just seemed like the kind of place that, um, you know, things could get a bit sort of messy. <laughs> That's better. Don't want to do that one. You can do it. No, I didn't. Mm. We're in a massive absence of music. Ready? to a, a manual thing, it. you know? The bent is a lot bloody easier than this. You're going to eat something in a minute. To see what attracting five-star guests is all about... Go, go, go! Mark's taking Alison to a posh hotel nearby. I have to tell you, I'm not pretending that I'm somebody else here, I'm me. I'll be nice and polite like I always am. Of course. But I'm not pretending that I'm highbrow Mrs... Mrs Bouquet! <laughs> If I went to a hotel, I'd expect a nice warm welcome on arrival. I don't expect like airs and graces. I go to places like Butlins and that and stay in the nice accommodation and that's great for me. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, looks very good, cool. it's very posh. Wow. Straight away, we've got a better location. Just slightly. No, we have. And it's stuck in the middle of nowhere. My, my perfect hotel is something on the beach, in the Caribbean, um, with everything done for me. You look the champagne lifestyle. Yeah, no, no, everything done for me. No, Mark, there's someone there with a brolly waiting for us to get out. I'm oh, well, that's, well Mark, that's good. No, it's not. It's not with a number of It's fine. Well, I'm well, no. needing an umbrella then, need I? Good morning. There we are, thank you. All right. Have you got your handbag? Yes, thank you. Okay. I'm absolutely loving the the outfit, the like jodhpurs and that. Maybe we should get someone wearing something. If we're going to do something like that, we need to say, we're in Torquay on the beach. So what do you expect someone to stand and wear a bikini outside? That yeah, says welcome to, the welcome to the country. We need to say welcome to the seaside. I know, okay. not walking around in bikinis, you know. We can do. We can come up with something special. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god, that's absolutely beautiful. Look at them. Look, they're just like open, everybody. If we did that, they'd pinch them. Foie gras. Isn't that pate like me? Foie foie. No, it isn't. It's what's the name? Foie gras. I've got foie. no idea. I don't well, speak I French. It it, no, I've seen it on MasterChef and that. Do you think that we're going to be allowed to take one of these back for you to show Ron? Well, I could, I could, yeah. No, we can't stop I'll doing things it. like that in here. They won't notice. Don't be ridiculous. No, we'll just, we'll just not take it. Not putting them in my bag, I'll we'll tell you that now. Just take it. No, 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 you can't do it. No way, no, I'm not having, no, don't, don't do it. If you do, the man's coming, don't be ridiculous. I can't photocopy it. Mark has asked to meet the head chef, hoping he can give him some tips at improving the breakfast menu at the Grosvenor. How did you pick your sausage? Uh, we did a taste test against our sausages. Right. That's um, what Mr. What's If I said. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking him about sausages. So, yeah, so, so we brought in a range of sausages. We tasted them all. Um, we use a very, very high concentrated pork sausage. 
the whole point about breakfast is sort of you know the more interesting it is it's kind of the last meal that people have before they leave yeah that's right um, yeah ah. mark thinks he's discovered a new way of taking the grosvenor up market sausages same to you no because I'll, I'll show you what we've got, you know? I'll have another conversation. I don't want to see your sausage. Meet me in the kitchen before you go. Great. Sausages. How much exactly are these sausages going to cost us? No, well, well, yeah, but no. That's yeah, not but a no, but... Hang on, Nikki. we're not... Not everybody's having them. The only people that will have these sausages are the people that pay for an upgrade. You can't We're not buying do hundreds that. of sausages for everybody. You, that you can't How do that. that. Is that going to be policed in the restaurant? There's no way you can do that, Mark. How People on earth will is go Magda nuts. Gonna know? But they pay for it. This is a way of making more money. You pay extra for an upgrade. What do you class me as? Well, you're working class, aren't you? That's right. And no. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of being working class. So, yeah. so the, the crab sausages yes, will be eaten by the normal people and, and like, the no, posh up market people can that. have the award-winning sausages. If I came in, would I not be accepted there because I'm working class? Well, no, it depends how much money you've got. And they're not allowed to sit in the port with the poor people and eat it. They have to come and sit with the premium That's guests. That's disgusting. Wherever you go to be upgraded, Never. you always expect the red rope. Never. Of course you do. There Wait, ain't no rope. How often do you go anywhere and get upgraded? Never. You wouldn't know. I go places How and I get dare upgraded. How you? I'd put the red rope to put around your neck. That would help me. Allegedly. How are you? I'm all right. It's all the rest of them. Well, I mean, are, our, are our sausages getting smaller or is it me? No, no. I'll tell you the sausage situation. Look, no, they are. No, they're not. They are. They're getting smaller. No, taste it. No, but look how tiny that is. Magda, would that impress you? She's no, not impressed. Not. Yes. Hearing <laughs> about this sausage, he's saying that if someone booked from the Sun advert and someone booked from the Guardian advert, but the ones from the Guardian will get an upmarket breakfast. There's going to be like two standards of people. Oh, you get a big pork sausage and you get a chip and lava. You can't do that to people. You know what Mark's like when he gets something in his head? You can't do that to people. They'll be uproar. I know. Look, the Grosvenor is the Grosvenor. You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And people come to the Grosvenor because they want to relax and enjoy themselves. I'm not necessarily going to give these to all the guests. We're, we're going to look to upgrade certain guests. But the cheap guests, we might get away with that. Swear to God, it's going to be like the Titanic. And what happened to the Titanic? It hit the bottom. I can hear Celine Dion singing now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're down to, right? That's disgusting. You know, that's it. Right, Christian, can you please find the best sausage we can? Ideally, um, organic, people like organic yeah. sausages, and if you can, local, because people like to know how far their sausages travel. Okay, that's what we need on the plate for tomorrow. Come on. Good girl. Hi. This is Tilly. Hello. 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 Hello, how are you? Hi, yeah. Oh. Hi, Vic. You're right. Uh, yeah. On top of manager Mark's other worries, his daughter Victoria wants him to look after her new puppy while she goes away on holiday. So how long? Um, three weeks. Because I'm going away for two weeks, but I'm not back. OK. Back here. Wonderful. Is that OK? Got some stuff here for her as well. Doggy diva. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, that's water, food. Yeah, but what? Well, we've got water. It's OK. No, no, because she drinks filtered water. <laughs> so we've got a water filter. <laughs> No. No. We got water comes out of a tap. No, she doesn't drink tap water. She doesn't like it. She's not fully house trained, so just keep an eye out yeah. for her. Great. Um, but the good news is if she does anything too major, you'll smell it first. I'm looking to bring in a sausage for our breakfast. Um, possibly ideally organic, um, but it has to be 
local. We want to have a, a sausage tasting tomorrow breakfast. Do you see what I mean? That's why I've said if we can get them today, that's really important. We're looking for the very best we can get. Because yours have won awards, haven't they? Mark does interfere a hell of a lot. I sometimes wonder why he does employ managers. He says himself, if he could clone himself, he would, and he could do any job here. Well, he was on reception the other day, and he couldn't even open the safe. That's it. See, that's what's meant to happen. No, 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 it's fine. It's OK. I guess the Grosvenor hits his baby, and he just can't resist getting involved. He wants, he wants a premium sausage. Well, don't we all? We Tell all me want about it. Sausage. Do you know what I mean? So, look, I'm making it with a chipolata at the yeah, moment. Yeah. Right, they're just going to go and clean your room for you. Um, do you want to go and just have a drink on us in the bar? OK, yeah. thank you. Kate and Gary from Hertfordshire are on their first romantic holiday together. Cheers. We've been together nearly a year and a half. Yeah, a year and five months. A year and, month, a year and five months yeah. this month, yeah. Sit down. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not bored of him yet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's a compliment. Back home, Gary is a drum and bass DJ and Kate sells vodka shots part time. It's going to be nice just to chill out now, though. Now that we're here, no work, de-stress. <laughs> Get it out of your system. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a bit chills. Yeah. I bought a Cardi, but my yellow and pink one that's not really going to go with much outfits. But I bought my raincoat. That doesn't keep me warm, that just keeps me dry. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Check it, check, 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 check it out. <gasps> How nice. How nice. It's nice, isn't it? The first time we met, we spoke for hours, didn't we? Yeah. And after that, we just went on a couple of dates. Like, we went to Wagamama's, and I think I got a bit too drunk and said to one of his friends, I wonder when Gaz is going to ask me to be his girlfriend. <laughs> and so she told him that I said that, and I think... Yeah. That's how we kind of got that together. That was a green light for me. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't really go with leggings, does it? Not so much. Shall I put these on instead? Yes. But then what about when I get chill? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a clue, babe. That looks all right. What? This, this and this? I look redong. No, the... Oh. Have you thought of anything yet? No. Cos I don't want to wear anything that I'm going to need for another day. I need the new again. Do you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Babe? Yeah? Huh? I just burped. Did you? Yeah. Big time? Not big time, no. How many times is that since we've been together? Two? Three? Two. Two. I can't believe you've burped twice in, like, a year and a half. I know. <laughs> this morning, yeah, I, I spent God knows how long phoning yeah. butchers for yeah. a sausage taste test. Yes. And apparently you've already arranged for sausages to come in. Can butchers. I just say, Maintenance, who's supposed to be doing the maintenance, is now out running around getting sausages. Well, my sausages are being delivered. Yeah, but we don't need okay. those. So my sausages aren't causing a problem. No, excuse me. So why are you asking me to do this when you've done it yourself? No, no, I just happened to notice. I was having a look. I thought, uh, we'll just have a comparison to see who's got the best sausages. So not being funny... I have a very good me, sausage. Thank you. you. It's a nightmare waiting to happen, really, and it all is. And the worst thing is that he carries our head our heads into the carnage of his, and we all are just taken along in, in, in the waves with it. If we ask for samples, we get enough samples, and you get a constant supply of samples, you don't actually have to pay for it. I am so out of Sausage Gate. No way.
I'll go against Matt. Can we see if we can shoot an apple off his head? <laughs> <laughs> Why waste an apple? How's Old doing? That's what I want to know. We spent our whole lives growing up together. We lived really close to each other when we were kids. Like, uh, maybe 20 second walk away from each other. So we used to skateboard around each other's house. We've never been competitive with, with each other. Probably never really had an argument either. Looks a little bit like I want. Take that. That's the first round. We've got Matt on 19 points. Ollie on 26. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. That really, that really hurt. <laughs> Marriage means a lot to me. I've always thought growing up that I definitely want to get married and yeah, excited. Phoebe is my soulmate. When he told me that he was going to propose, I was happy because Phoebe's, you know, a bit of a legend. I think I might have jumped down the street and done a little skip and been like, yay. It's going to be an immense return to form, I predict, <laughs> in about half an hour. Everything's just going to start going swimmingly well. When you start drinking and shooting shotguns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Phoebe is amazing at everything. Yeah. That's one thing I was slightly worried about. <laughs> Ollie, do you really want to marry someone who's really good at everything? Someone who's just actually better than me. <laughs> so how many sausages are there then? The hundreds. Wh which are the ones that have gotten an award then? Sausages. Having a tasting we've got. Devon Chunky, they've won awards. Pork and honey, which, I don't know, for breakfast. I'll find a couple of guests to sample them for us. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not, because it's not just about the staff having one and us deciding, because at the end of the day, um, what's much more important is, is what the guests think of it. On the menu for the tasting, sausage number one, the Tiverton. Number two, the award-winning Chunky. Number three is the original Grosvenor Chipolata. Sausage four is the spicy one. Sausage number five is pork and honey. I wonder if you can just have a, li a little taste, yeah. s see what you think, okay, and yeah. then tell me which one's the best. Ha we'll have, have a, a taste and... All right, thank you. I haven't got a fork here. Oh. Unless you can see one somewhere. Have a look at, you know, what yeah, you think it, about yeah. the appearance, yeah. um, you know... Grosvenor regulars have also been enlisted to help out. Take. Leave you to have a little play. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay. We're pretty much of sausage experts, aren't we? Well, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. The new sausage is really important. Definitely wouldn't be number three. We're trying to attract the people that will be attracted by a big fat sausage. Now, number two's tasting good. So far. That's the sort of guests we need. The ones that have got the money. This has got to succeed. Well, they're nice, then. I think it's a toss-up between two and four for me. I, I, oh, I've, I'm just trying four. Well, Mark. Hello. So Jack, Jack. How, how did we do, then? Number four is okay. a clear winner. OK. In appearance and texture. Texture. Every you don't think it, it might be a little bit too spicy no. for breakfast? I don't, yeah, I don't, no, no uh, I think everybody no, likes a bit of spicy. So. No, I don't no. think so. No, I don't think so. But your, your winner's number four. Definitely yeah, number four. Number four. Right. OK. Like. We've tasted all five sausages. OK, wonderful. OK. The best for yeah. breakfast is number two. I think it's more tasty, number two. Um, Number two has actually won a gold award. Has it? Yeah. Well, it's, um... that has got the nicest taste. Yeah. David, oh. we're, we're, well, we're, we've had one vote for number four and we've had two votes for, for number two. So we're going with the Devon Chunky. Right, we found our sausage. We have our winner. Superb. Tomorrow is sausage day. Yeah. <laughs> Long live the sausage. sausage morning. Yeah, sausage morning. Right, okay, so 
we found our new first-class sausage. The new breakfast is launched tomorrow morning. OK, I've already taken orders for six. I think we'll do 12, 15, 20, whatever. But quite a few of the people who are having the upgrade are actually then leaving tomorrow morning. OK. And the whole point of this is to get more money, not people leave without paying, so... Um... Oh, Tilly, you were stuck in there! Oh, that nasty lady! I'm so sorry! Is there a poo around? Well, usually when she gets logged in there, she has a so I must tell you. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. There's a good girl. Yeah, I mean, these... her toys need to be put to the left so it's not as visible when people look in. I did tidy it all up. All of it. Right, come on, let's go and have a coffee. Like I'm trying to get myself a coffee, but you couldn't just hold her for a minute, could you? All right. I, ca I can't take her behind the bar because she's not old enough. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a coffee. <laughs> I'll be back in the sun. There's your posh phone. <laughs> Good morning, the Grosvenor Hotel. OK, that doesn't sound too bad. I was just seeing how you answered the phone. Oh, that's all right, cos I noticed it was your number anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, no. I left <coughs> Tilly with somebody and she's done something everywhere. But where, where is it? Yeah, but behind the seat. Oh. God's sake. There's another bit there. Hey. Unbelievable. Hang on, I'll be back. She's a bloody nightmare. <laughs> I thought that was meant to relax you having a dog. <laughs> How can oh, a yeah. sweet little dog produce that much? Oh, no. no premium sausages for you. <laughs> no, no chance. No chance. Two in a row. Okay, so bar, ten minutes. Yes. <laughs> you have got some vengeance coming back to you, Sunshine. I tell you. Oh no. Guys, guys, this is... Li listen, listen, this is the wedding suite. I know. Yeah? You are humping each other on the uh, wedding mm -hmm. suite. Ross, get off him. Thank you. Rich, get up, go on the other side of the room. Yeah, just move. Hey, is this fault, not mine? I've been single for quite a long time. In a way, you always entertain the idea of what other people have. You know, that would be really nice, and in a lot of people's eyes, being in a happy relationship is seen as, like, you're succeeding, you know, you're doing the right thing. It's a kind of aspirational thing to be happily married and in a relationship, and it is, for sure. Um, but, I, you know, jealousy is not, it's not a part of that. What are you doing? Can't breathe, man. Ah, ah. I have to be honest, Ollie, I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now. I don't know if I... and I don't know if I can condone it. As your best man, I feel like I should, but I just don't know. Now that Ollie's going to get married, you could think it will... it will change our friendship, but we've had such a consistent sort of feeling of always knowing that the other person is around wherever they are in the country or in the world or wherever, that I don't really think it will change things. I'm not nervous at all about getting married. Uh, it's it's just the the next the next step, really. You know, I guess the only thing I'd be nervous about, well, one of the main things, I don't really want to choke up in front of everyone. But you know, Matt will be there by my side, keeping me on the straight and narrow, make sure I don't crack up. I think that moment where Phoebe walks in is where the whole thing stops being. Oh, this is really fun. We're planning a big party and there's a wedding and da da da. And then it's like, wow, people are getting married now. Oh, okay, can we go down? Can we go now? Come, come to me. Hug me. Hug me. Yeah! 
When I say this hotel has to start paying its way, I mean it. The problem is, if we fill this hotel full of cheap tuppence halfpenny coaches, in a couple of months' time, we will come to a grinding halt. But what we have to do now is make the profit to keep the doors open. <laughs> oh, it's about to go wrong, isn't it? Any minute now, they're going to be on the floor. <laughs> I don't like it. Fun with them a lot later. They'll be right, they won't come back too late. Yeah, but it's gonna be they're gonna be trying thinking girls back. I don't think they will. Didn't think that would last a lot, but they did. I thought we're gonna end up going to bed really early <laughs> every <laughs> night. <laughs> Dorkily. Yeah, but I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I've got the shorts. Can I wear one of your tops? Do you think you'll wear this one? No, we went to yeah. Tiffany's The Titty Bar tonight. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we're not going there. You, sound, not... you sound disappointed. <laughs> not my kind of place. <laughs> oh, Matt, he's been chicken. Oh. Really, when I was looking at strippers, I was just thinking about chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2 a.m., and only half the stags have made it back to the hotel. Oh, my God, he's outside the window. That is so scary. Jeez. They're coming in through the window. Pesh, you're really going to regret doing that. <laughs> Why did you decide to climb in through the window? <laughs> what happened to you, Lord? It's a long and very strange story. I'll bet it is. <laughs> Should we carry on into the bar? Yeah, um... What on earth have you not going to be going for? It's last night, isn't it? So... You want to take the drinks as you move in first? Yeah. that this morning we're launching our new premium breakfast? Ron, said, Ron told you anything? Yeah, he was here. He was looking for you. OK. He didn't go any sausage or anything, nothing. It's all been delivered? There's nothing here. They have. They've been delivered. 
No, nothing here. Let me check here. They've got to be here. They weren't... I took delivery of them yesterday. Nobody's eaten them, you know? They've got to be here. And you know where did it live? No, I was at reception and they were brought down here. Morning, Mark. OK, so we... £28 delivery of uh, the new sausage yesterday. We've lost it. You're joking. I'll tell you what. If this goes under, not present company accepted, and everybody loses their job, they don't deserve to have a job because they're not smart enough. They haven't they got haven't enough got brain clue. cells. Don't know. Absolute joke. Nobody cares. That's the problem. Nobody gives a toss. You found them. Yeah, I, yeah, but <laughs> why can they? I just, you know. Yeah, I know how you feel. I just get lost for words. Where'd they put them up? In the corner of the fridge, but they couldn't see them. <laughs> they know yeah. what's going on. We're not in a different alien world, you know. Bring the standard to here, uh, you know, the, the VIP area to here, or do we just sort of bring it this way a bit so it's still visible, yep. but it includes that bit? Morning, Vaughn. Morning. How are you? Too bad. What can I do can for I you? Can I have a big breakfast this morning, please? He's actually splitting tables in half Is with he? posh side and... <laughs> I must go and have a look. I'm oh, don't, a look. don't confuse matters anymore, Vaughn. I must <laughs> have a look at this. <laughs> are these the best dinner napkins? No, uh, it's the only ones we've got. Bucker. I've got linen napkins, but the No, 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 no. We're not going to use the linen because they're, they're too expensive. Um, but they need to be folded completely different. His head's just full of sausages, isn't it? Not being funny. I haven't got a clue what's going on. The sausages have just taken over, you know? Where's the menu's gone from here? Today is the launch of Manager Mark's premium breakfast, and he needs to ensure the dining room is open at 8.30 sharp. I've only got 12 minutes. I might run and do these. It says printing, but it bloody isn't. I've got four minutes. <sighs> Are we ready to go? Shall I buy five minutes? Good morning. Good morning. We are a tiny bit delayed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you make it? I haven't got a clock, you see. I never know the time. 8.36. <gasps> We're already late. Would you like to come in? <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You should do these breakfast a la carte, really. I'm advertising it in today's Guardian. The Guardian. Times, um, the Telegraph. Oh my God. Award-winning breakfast. No, you can't say that. That's won an award. Who's giving you the awards for the butter? The ingredients. And the... People that read the. Guardian, I think they're probably just a little bit, you know, too good for us, maybe. Too good. Cook it, make sure the bacon's crispy, you know, make sure it's right. This is your showcase breakfast. This is the moment for you and your sausage to shine. We couldn't tempt you to upgrade to our premium no, breakfast on your last yeah, morning yeah. just to set you off? No, no, no. Okay, no, that's fine. Mark's yet to convince any of his guests to part with the extra four pounds for his premium breakfast. Can we interest you in our upgrade? Yeah, we'll yeah, give it, give it. OK. <laughs> Wonderful. So, if you'd like to move over here, cos you can't eat it there, cos it's not the same, so come with me. So... Yes. Yes, come on. We almost now have what I would describe as sort of sausage apartheid. And, you know, never will the sausages meet, you know? Do you want sugar in your tea? Oh, sweet and all. Kate and Gary have decided to try Mark's five-star breakfast. Right, hang on, st David, stop. Hang on, stop for a minute. We individually cook the fried egg in a hot pan. We get it's it... Hot pan here. OK. No, it's not. I know certain things, what should be right. OK. The fried egg is crispy underneath, cos that's how it's expected to be served. He said fry one at a time, did he? Crazy. How hungry are you on a scale of? 
one is not hungry at all, and ten is extreme hunger. Probably a six and a half. Six and a half? We're going to wolf it down. We're going to wolf it down. So how was your evening, all right? Oh, it's absolutely it's like a dream. Yeah. You're calm? Didn't drink too much? No. No hangovers? No. Not Sounds yet. like a rubbish stag do, doesn't it? Can I interest you? I know you've sat here rather than there, but in our upgraded premium breakfast. Yeah. Sort of award-winning sort of sausage, and it would be at home in any five-star hotel. In well, fact, we stole the whole menu and the whole set of ingredients from a five-star hotel, so <laughs> we know that's where it would be at home. Yeah. I'll have one then. You have one then? Sure. Do you do premium coffees for an upgrade? Premium this man likes coffee. No, we, we can make you a nice coffee, you know? Oh, the coffee's all right. Man. All right, I'll send your waiter over and he'll take the order. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. No, I love it, then. Yeah, I love a hard towel. <laughs> does, there, does anyone want a decent sausage? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> That's Nelly there, Ron. It has to look and present as if it's a five-star breakfast, you know? Oh, I'm charging £4 extra for this. Thing. It's hot. Look, I serve hot food on No, I know, no, I know, Ron, it's not about that. It's about because people it's about burning themselves on it. You know? Mm. About health and safety. Warn the people the plates are red hot, please. Thank you. I'm going to take these breakfast, please. Yeah, I'm coming in. See, this is what I like, babe. A nice, massive pot of catch. <laughs> is everything OK? Yes. Very nice. So we're in, um, it's our first morning of sort of launching this breakfast, so we're having teething problems, you know? It's not quite as smooth an operation as, um, right. as it will hopefully become. Okay, thank you, Mark. Cheers. Are you okay? Apart from the scrambled eggs, <laughs> undercooked. I think it's okay. What was your sausage like? No. Bacon? No. Beans? No. I think they're Heinz. What, you're leaving it out of ten? Premium breakfast? I'm going to give it a fair seven and a half out of ten. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think that's fair. What would you give me out of 10? 11. <gasps> Thanks, babe. Here's your Is premiums, it? I think. Yeah, uh, maybe a cup of coffee will be coming in. Oh, well, yeah, Frankie. And, um, uh, Thanks, mate. Premier yeah. toast. Yeah. Different so toast. Premier yeah. toast. Yeah. As a small sausage, down Look at it. I feel so inadequate compared to ours. Premier treatment here, mate, yeah? <laughs> Struggling. Oh, wow. <laughs> See? I should have gone for that little one. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. You've got to go. Oh, yeah. You're going to get red. Back to the room, yeah. You're going to get red. Yeah. Oh, he's getting red. He's offloading. Oh, God, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Pick up the pace, son. Pick up the pace. Right on. Bradshaw. Why is it a fat one and a thin one? It looks odd. I'm not going to push any more premium this morning because, because we haven't got any sausages. Unbelievable. Hmm. I didn't go on very well with my breakfast. Spinning out in that place, weird. If anyone asks for a premium, tell them the chef's not happy with his sausages. Okay. No, the size of them. Premium sausage. It's working. Tomorrow morning, I'll have more laid out, you know? I'm not going to lose out. So it's an over-full premium section this morning, so... The, the big new fat sausage is the new Grosvenor. That's what we are. Welcome to the Grosvenor Hotel, the home of the award-winning breakfast. Next time on The Hotel. Ladies' night, the G-spot, a funking good night. Have we got any chocolate willies? We haven't got any normal willies. Nice, nice to see you. you. Good to see you. How are you guys? I'm so pleased.
waiting for you to come. <laughs> I can't stall him off any longer. Where's the toiletry? Where's the water? In the fridge. Where's the fridge? Sorry, I've got some half-naked men in here at the moment. I'm auditioning. OK. To an outsider, this is chaotic. You can do the whole lot yourself. We never get things right in this hotel, do we?